is how to do a bus in Logic Pro. So let's open Logic and we'll just create a, a file new, completely new. And I'll do all this on screen if I can, if I unless I forget. So uh, we've got software instrument, we'll create, uh, it's got vintage electric piano, you can pick anything uh, through any of these. And we'll, st we'll stay with that because that's working for what we want to do. We create that. Now immediately it creates the electric piano, it gives us a strip and our stereo out. There's no buses at this point. Um, right mouse click in here, create MIDI region, command or double click on it, command 4 would give me the um, would give me the uh, this inspector the piano roll so leave, leave them nice and short okay option and drag take that there to do what we got d here change that to dfa and c <laughs> change that to a g there We've got G, B, D, and uh, take that one off. We don't need that for now. And then just drop that back in at the end. Okay, so we have... Um, let's just play this. I was using my uh, X-Touch there. Okay, we can cycle that if we want, which we, we will for what we're doing. That gives us a little uh, a piece of music there to, to create our effects with. Now this is the bit where the sends um, will be created. On here we've got a send, so if you just click, click there, click bus 1, okay. And we'll put another one in, bus 2. Now at the minute, let's go back to bus 1. There is no, this, this is now showing bus 1. We can change that to, um, let's do reverb, and bus to delay. Okay, still there is nothing there. I've just named them. That's just for my benefit when we look at the mixer. Um, let's go back to bus one. So um, this here will tell us how much we're sending. We're going we're gonna to send a goodly amount. Nothing will happen, no difference. Okay, you can see that reverb, uh, this reverb channel that I've set up is, is receiving the signal, but nothing is happening because this is where we allocate. That's somebody calling me. Um, this is where we allocate the effects for that channel. We said reverb. Let's just go to, um, let's go to chrome reverb. Okay. Now you can hear that that's playing. If I turn that down, Okay, turn it up. I won't go full, I'll go to there. So that's that's a simple way of setting setting up a bus. You can bail out now if that's all you needed to know. Um, I often have two, well I have several buses, but two if I'm if I'm looking at the reverb aspect, and then the other one I might put in a um, a delay. Um, so we've called this delay already because I knew this is where I was going. Um, and in the, I'll do tape delay. Okay. I can turn the, the first bus off. I can set the send level here to my, um, uh, second bus, which we have made a delay. Okay. So you can see that the um, uh, the I should have had that left on top. Um, never mind, doesn't matter. You don't need to see me. Um, now I'll leave that on top. Now let's pop that up there out of the way. So this is me. Hello. Right. So 
um, when I stop the playing now, I'm, re I'm playing and starting via the uh, the X the X touch. Okay, and we can we can uh, create here uh, a different ch um, aspect uh, of sound by changing the amount of wetness, if you like. Um, because we're using this as a send, we don't need any dry signal because this is our dry signal and we're adjusting the amount of send in there. We've got quarter dotted. Let me just make that a little bit. Yeah, let's make it um, around there. I'm going to stop now and you'll hear the delay carry on. Um, if I put that in, <clears throat> quite an unusual effect there and bring that delay down maybe not be usable in that form but as you can see that's a way to do it so i've got two two um, effects in there if i decided oh, well actually i don't like that delay which i'm not overly keen on this particular usage and I wanted to do something different. I can I can always um, use the same bus and put in um, if I click on here, yeah, select something different. We'll use a um, let's go into modulation and use a flanger. Okay, completely different sound. different to what we're seeing before let me take all the reverb send off so these are the send signals switch that off so that's a completely dry sound that's sending it simply how you create your reverbs if you hit shift and two you will get your um your mixer up there and you'll see this reflects what we've written in the track here okay um so here on bus two oops we've got our flanger this currently says delay you could just put in there flange that's it really any questions um put them in the comments uh, below